So let's have a look at uh, how to install these Apple HFS drivers. So you should have downloaded that little package from my blog. Um, if you look in there, there's some 32-bit and some 64-bit um, drivers. And there's also a file containing the registry entries that we need to uh, set up. So firstly, we need to know which drivers to copy. Now, I'd hope you'd know whether you're running a 64-bit or a 32-bit system. But the easy way to check is just get the properties up of your computer You'll see, for example, there that I'm running the 64-bit version. Okay, so we're going to pop into that 64-bit directory, and we need to copy those into our drivers directory. Okay, so what we need to do is find that driver directory. So let's fire up a new uh, Explorer window. There we go. It's on my C drive. It's under Windows, System 32. and then drivers there we go so we need to copy those two files into the drivers so select them copy and drop them across you'll probably get warned that you need admin permissions to do it I'm on a Windows 8 machine so it looks slightly different to Windows 7 but the process is much the same so we'll continue should copy it copies the second one so we should see those files are there now so we've now copied those well I've actually moved them across rather than copying them but what, what the hell um, so now let's have a look at this registry um, driver that we need to run. In that little key, if we just edit it, you'll see that there's a number of registry entries in there that actually enable that um, that drivers, those drivers that we've just copied across. It's very simple to do. You just double click on it, okay? It will say yes, and then you'll get a warning saying you know it's adding values. So yeah, there you go, and they've been entered. So now if we reboot. Um, those drivers will be active and you should be able to view those HFS drives. Now one thing to be um, aware of is if you want to remove these um, drivers I'm just going to pop a copy back where they were um, it's very simple to do you just need to remove those registry entries that have been created so if we have a look at that file again the edit you'll see that there's two keys that have been created Okay, so they're the two keys that we'd need to delete. So let's fire up a copy of registry editor and I'll, I'll show you where they are. Okay, so the first one we need to look, look for is local machine, system, current control set and services. So let's go to local machine, system, current control set and services. And in there, there should be one called Apple HFS. Of course, you can just type it in. There we go. So there's Apple HFS, and you'll see the various entries that are that tally with what's in that text file. So if you wanted to remove the drivers, all you would do is delete that. So right-click and delete, and it will remove that driver. Same for the Apple MNT. Right-click and delete it. Okay, and that would remove the drivers for you. If you wanted to be extra tidy, you could, of course, also delete the files from the System32 drive as well. So, do that, reboot, you should now have access to your HFS volumes.